Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for putting on this event. So, um, yeah, I'm a lecturer in the vet school, and um, one aspect of my work involves uh, the study of gastrointestinal disease pathogens. This is done primarily in uh, collaboration with public health agencies like the UKHSA and the CDC, which have really large-scale genomic surveillance programs for specific high-priority pathogens. So um, in the UK, for instance, a range of different pathogens, when they're detected in clinical care, will be passed to the UKHSA for complete genome sequencing. And then they have like a large-scale overview of the distribution of these diseases within the country, uh, within the UK. Um, what um, my group does is takes this genomic data, and we have kind of limited information about where they come from, uh, from uh, s surveys that are provisioned to people who have these gastrointestinal diseases, where they travel to in the world, for instance. And we use this metadata alongside the genomic data to try and predict where in the world these pathogens came from. So we can build these kind of hierarchical models where we have uh, information about different continents where these diseases may have arisen, and then the sub-regions uh, within those continents, and then countries within those continents. Um, and we're building this for a range of different gastrointestinal pathogens, um, looking at how we can use not just machine learning approaches, but explainable AI approaches, or uh, simply how we can integrate these models more effectively with what the outputs are needed by for um, end users, such as epidemiologists and disease management in public health. So. Um, I, we're sort of focused more on the uh, public health and genomic side of things, but I think areas of interest for collaboration might be how we might uh, generate synthetic data from these genomes, um, how we might more effectively apply deep learning to genomics data, which is a little bit of a challenge for um, deep learning at the moment, um, and how we might approach this using explainable AI, because there's a real need for us to have um, evidence trails in how we deal with this data so that we can integrate it with public health policy decision-making. Um, thank you very much for listening to me, and I look forward to talking with you later.